AI for Good, what a crazy title um, that, that, that you created, that, that big summit. With all you've heard and what you, you, you've learned from, from meeting Robert and Michael and all that you're doing, um, let's start first with your thoughts about how this is AI for Good. Yeah, it's an incredible um, synergy with AI for Good. I mean, AI for Good is really about demonstrated solutions to fit the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, one of which is better health worldwide and making it accessible to everybody on the planet, whether it's developed or developing regions of the world. So definitely digital diagnostics fits that, Robert's work fits all of that making it accessible and what better way than to amplify it using AI embedded in different devices. Your phone has AI embedded in it and then amplifying that with the kind of technologies that have been mentioned here. And you could be in Asia, Africa, North America, Europe, it doesn't matter. That's what AI for good is all about. And that's why it's being adopted by governments, by companies like Microsoft, for example, and even research groups like Mila out of Montreal, they all have these AI for good programs. So definitely a, a lot of alignment and definitely this ability to scale globally, definitely ties into diversity and inclusion and equal access worldwide and for healthcare. You know, healthcare is roughly maybe a $9 trillion marketplace worldwide. And if you can have this accessibility, then everybody can do it, right? So, and that's autonomous aspect, the more that you can automate and you don't require a lot of um, you know, deep healthcare professional in, uh, in, in intervention, but you can get people to do it at home and so on, even better still. And if you can get it through the retail market page, uh, marketplaces, say, wow, what's better than that? And then keep in mind, we're in the midst of a digital transformation globally. And what the pandemic has done is accelerated that. So I'm talking the use of 5G and uh, artificial intelligence, robotics technology, and data analytics, and what they call the cloud technology, and telemedicine, all of that could be compressed. Something that people predicted was going to be rolling out in 10 years is now happening today. And the examples through Robert and Michael are prime examples of that compression happening where it's accessible today to everybody. And then, of course, it ties into this element of ESG, you know, environmental social governance issues and the importance of having social impact that's sustainable uh, and it fits all stakeholders worldwide. 